Hi, this is Matt Barbie. I'm going to talk you through a really great plugin that I've been testing out recently. Uh, it's been developed by AA Team and it's called the WooCommerce Amazon Affiliates plugin. Now, if any of you done any affiliate marketing before, then you'll know that the Amazon affiliate program is a, a pretty great and simple way to cash in on some affiliate income. I mean, each referral that you bring through to an Amazon product page, you can earn up to 10% in some cases when they're running special offers. You can run 25% commission on those sales as well. So realistically, you could set up a small e-commerce store, have no stock that you hold in your own premises, don't have to worry with the logistics, with anything else. All you're going to be doing is advertising the products, shipping people through to Amazon, and then cashing in on the affiliate earnings. Now, I've done this to great effect over the past couple of years um, and had some good success, but really, um, I've had to do a lot of that manually. What this plugin does is it makes it so simple that even the most novice user will be able to kind of get to grips with the interface. Now, what it works in, it works in WordPress and WooCommerce. So if you've already got an e-commerce store, for example, with your own products in there, you can actually implement this plugin and you can advertise and show Amazon products alongside your own products and you can add them into the same basket and everything can run in tandem um, with your existing e-commerce store and it's very easy to implement so that's great from that side if you don't have an e-commerce store all you need to do is set up a WordPress site install WooCommerce plugin you can then get themes you can get a ton of themes from the likes of theme forest etc or you can develop off your own theme however you want to do it then all you need to do is install the WooCommerce Amazon affiliates plugin this one's thirty dollars from Code Canyon um, I'll be able to provide the, the link underneath the video as well so you can check that out so I'll dive straight into the actual ins and outs the features of the, the plugin itself so once you've installed it what you'll be presented with is this dashboard area. So if you go into the configuration slide here, you can go into Amazon config. So you can set up which locations you want to be selling from. So if it's only the UK, that's particularly for me, or if it's Germany or if it's worldwide, whatever you want to do there. You'll then need to go into Amazon and request your secret um, your secret access key and your access key ID very simple to do um, and then paste in your affiliate ID so you can do it from multiple countries as well which is great and you can just say which one is your main affiliate ID check that to verify that it's all working and then you're up and ready to go so the first thing that you'll want to do is you'll want to get some products so Within this site, if we just go into the import products, and the most simplest thing to do is the advanced search. So what you can do here is you can search through based on um, the category. So we could go to home garden here and look for specific uh, specific search terms within here. So maybe it might be uh, I don't know shovel. What you've got here is a ton of products that you can easily straight away add into your affiliate store. So you can search for it all through here. If we go to all, let's just uh, type in MP3. Plug in and pull through a load of stuff. So just an example, I'll just grab this sensor clip. I think I actually owned that a couple of years ago. Um, we got black mini clip MP3 player. Uh, let's just get this uh, sensor clip uh, again. And then all you need to do is just click import products. Now, what you can do is you can view all the details of those items as well in a nice little pop out. You can select all of them if you wanted. Um, 
if I just click import products, what the plugin will do is it will go through Amazon. It will then start importing here. So it's importing all the imagery. It imports all of the text. It imports all of the reviews, everything. It also imports kind of the recommended bundle products that it will display, um, which you will earn affiliate income off, even if you're not directly looking to sell. So that's all, that's all been finished now. So what I do now is if I go into my product section, the WooCommerce page, let this load up. What we've now got is we see all three of those here. So they've been added straight in with all the prices. So including any sale prices, all the categories that it goes under. And this has been done in what a few seconds. The full product title, which you can completely edit. It's got all the imagery in there. Again, you can edit that in the same way that you could everything else. I won't go into everything, but we just go preview changes. And what you'll just see now within kind of under a minute, we've got the full images here, plugged straight into our theme, scrolling through all those, the full title, saying it's on sale, the full prices, along with some information alongside it. We've got a brief description there, all the categories that it goes under. And then you've got a full description that's being pulled through. And like what I said there, it's actually got the frequently bought together. So you can cash in on some extra earnings there, enticing people to bring through and bundle offers. You're pulling in all the Amazon customer reviews, which is great. So you've got all the reviews there. Any additional information, so all the product specifications directly there, formatted nicely. And then obviously, if you've got your own review system, you can have your own personal reviews plugged in there from customers. So that's that's another great thing. Now, one thing you might be thinking is, well, if this is just plugging information straight in from Amazon, isn't this all going to be duplicate content? Um, and you'd be right. Yeah, that's going to be duplicated content. So what you've got here with the plugin is two options. You can go in, manually edit all of the product information itself. You can go in, change pricing if you wanted to. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can go in and change here the product description. So you can do that all manually. You can update that for each product. Or what you can do, let me just close that, leave this page, leave that page. You can go into the Amazon affiliate plugin again. Just down here, we've got Amazon Content Spinner. Now, this is a pretty cool feature, I've got to admit. What the plugin will do is it will spin all of the content that, um, that's plugged in to however much of a degree that you would like from Amazon to make sure that you've got completely duplicate content. So you could say 60 replacements, spin content now to really up the amount of uh, replacements that are going to be done there, make it much more unique. So you see Puppy for Joggers, Commuters, and very different lively song listeners, the Santa Click, blah, blah, blah. You've got that different from the original content, so you can really go all out with the, with the spinning there. Really handy tool, which you can do all on your own. If you don't like that, you can press roll back the content and you keep the original content that was placed there. You may want to get rid of the content altogether and then you can go in and just do your own manual thing, but a really nice quick feature to just get some, um, some fresh content onto your product pages. So when I say that this is really minimal maintenance, I really mean that. So aside from the advanced search, you've also got CSV bulk import. So if you've got a load of async codes, um, so they're the, the actual Amazon product codes, you may have downloaded those, you may have gathered them yourself from a list. What you can do is you can plug all of those in, each on an individual line, click add async codes to queue. This will add all of those in. What you then need to do is you just need to go into plugin status, 
assets download. And what you'll get is when you do the manual import, all of those products will show up in a big long list here. You just press download all assets now and it will plug in all of the information around those that you've, you've uploaded from your CSV. So another way of getting products directly in there, which is, which is fantastic. So from the product kind of measurement and stats measurement side of things, you've got the product stats which again, really great interface, has all your products here. So what you can do is you can see how many hits any of these have had. So obviously we've just looked at that product. We've had a hit. How many of them have been added to the cart? So you can check cart abandonment. So we've got five here. How many were then gone on and redirected to Amazon? So again, all of these have been redirected. You should then start to see the affiliate earnings coming off the back of that. So a great visual interface that you can quickly have a look at to go through and see exactly how each of your products are performing. And the product, um, the plug, the plugin should I say is really great for being able to just easily track and manage all the different project products that you've actually got within your um, your website. You can configure the look and feel of those, add more images in if you want, customize content but really low maintenance. Now, another really nice factor, I'll go back into, let's use this product as an example. Often what you'll find with like affiliate type plugins and um, affiliate websites in general is the cart process is pretty clunkily. Usually what you'll have here is, it will probably say add to cart and actually what you'll just go is, you'll click there and it'll go through to the original Amazon page just straight away. Now, from a conversion point of view, that's not ideal. You kind of want things to be as seamless for the user as possible. Even if they do put them into a checkout process, you can usually only add kind of one in at a time, which is again, really annoying. So what I'll show you here is if we add this to cart, added that one in let's just go to another product that I've got open on the site add that one to the cart not too plugged in now and then the third one which we've got really random I know I've just been plugging these in so we've got three products now in our cart you can go through to view the cart again keeping all of your your same layout to your store that you want so you've got control over that you don't need to have like big Amazon signs everywhere it doesn't even need to properly be mentioned you can up the quantities here so we'll add two in there uh, you can then press update shopping bag go through all the prices the coupon code still you can have within here then what we do is proceed to check out so again we want this to be as seamless as possible what this is now done brought me straight through to Amazon so I've got all of my products here it's told me which ones are unavailable if that's the case um, I've got these there all I need to do is press continue add me direct into my Amazon shopping cart that affiliate earning will come through to yourself and when that person is checked out you'll get um, an update within your Amazon affiliate account really nice and seamless transition into Amazon and you're not adding a load of extra clicks through to this so perfect from that side of things now obviously one other thing that uh, a lot of people are always very wary of is actually when you've got products that are kind of controlled on another site you need them to be updating very quickly if there's any price updates so that users aren't getting the wrong information through and what the a team guys have done is they've put in prices update fix which is just under import products what you can do is you can go through and manually push through each of the uh the price updates on any of the products so it'll say when it's last synced up it's only synced up kind of a few days ago let's let's update this product now to see if there's been any price changes i'll just take kind of a few seconds and what that'll do is it'll search through in amazon see if there's any updates to the prices if there is any update to the prices or if there's any update to the product descriptions or any of the new imagery that's coming from the site then that will be directly updated within this
So that's updated now. And you can see, obviously, that there hasn't been any change uh, to the price there. But one, one nice thing is you don't need to be doing this manually. Um, you can set up a cron job, and that's done on your server side to automatically do this. And they actually show you directly here. If you go into Assets Download, it gives you a step-by-step how to go through your C panel and just add a cron job so that, that automatically updates any new pricing. Now here we've got 15 minutes, so check that you can set how long you want it to update and bring in new information so you're keeping everything up to date. So just to kind of round up, go back here to the dashboard, what we've got. So you're able to bring in all of your products directly from Amazon integrate them straight away into your WooCommerce website. You're able to gather all of the product information, the photos, the reviews, everything about that product, you can bring that in directly from Amazon within a few seconds, which is great. That will then get added straight into your WordPress setup. You can go in and manually edit any of the content to change it. Or you can use the automated content spinner, which is a great little add-on, which can give you instant, fresh content across the site to make sure you've not got any duplicates there. You can also use a CSV bulk product importer and then actually grab all the assets around each of the products from there. You can sync up all the products so that they'll be constantly updating over a period of time. You've got stats around all of your products and you've got actually a really nice little dashboard here that kind of shows you the top performing products across all of the sites. Um, you can also go through and have a look at each individual product, see how many click throughs it had, see how many times it's been added to the cart and do some, some checks across that side of things. And you've also got really nice option from the checkout process to go through and have a seamless integration directly with Amazon's checkout process. So from a conversion point of view, it's fantastic. So I'd really recommend checking this plugin, uh, this plugin out. So if you are serious about kind of doing any affiliate work with Amazon, have a little look over at Code Canyon. Go find the um, WooCommerce Amazon Affiliates plugin from AA Team, $30 at the moment. So check that out. And uh, you'll have to let me know how you get on. If you do have any issues, the guys over at AA Team are always really good for the support side of things. And they've got a full kind of documentation section with any other information that you need.